Military, it's Wednesday, September 13th. I'm Maria. And I'm Leslie. And, and you're watching THS TV. It's great to be back after the summer break in those two extra weeks. Although I love the time off, I can't help but think about the people who lost their homes and belongings in Hurricane Harvey. If you were affected by the hurricane, the district has free school supplies for you. Go to the school website and fill out the form there. Also, look for information on the TVs around the school. Common Threads on Houston Street in Richmond also has food and clothing. See any teacher for information on getting help for you and your family. Seniors, if you did not take your senior portrait over the summer, Prestige Portraits will be here tomorrow and Friday in the auditorium. You should get a pass today in your English class with, class with your appointment time. This is the last opportunity for you to have your picture taken here on campus after today. You have until October 13th to go to Sugarland to take your portrait for the yearbook and for graduation. Do not let this opportunity pass by. Come by room 119 and take, talk to the yearbook staffers. So when are regular, regular school pictures, Leslie? They are September 21st during your social studies classes. If you don't have a social studies class, go during your advisory or during an elective class. See the yearbook staffers for more information. As you heard Dr. O say, Monday is open house. Come along with your parents, show them where your locker is, what your classrooms look like, and let them meet the teachers. Open house starts at 6.30. There will be spirit items for sale. This is a great chance to get into the Ranger spirit. In other news, there's few club meetings coming up. For instance, Student Council is meeting tomorrow morning at 7.30 in room 418. Interact is meeting next Wednesday, September 20th at 7.30 in Coach Fathery's room. There's a really fun day coming up, the Harvey Hair Don't Care Challenge. You're invited to do something crazy to your hair this Friday for Harvey Hair Day. If you want to wear a crazy hair to school on Friday, just pay a dollar. All benefits will go to Common Threads. That's a clothing and food pantry for our district. This is a challenge between all the high schools. So, so let's see if we can be the craziest in the district. In sports, there's a varsity football game tomorrow night at 7 in Trailer Stadium. Here's an interview with Coach Anthony. As you can expect for the upcoming season is our guys, they've been working hard and they've really put in the work during the summer. Uh, during our strength and conditioning camp, we've had the most numbers uh, of players to attend. Uh, some of the coaches who've been there the longest said since they've ever been at Terry. So they're excited, I'm excited, and I just can't wait to see the, the, the dividends that are produced from their hard work this summer. And, and they understand, and I told them before we left, before school was out, that um, the season starts now. You know, the off, uh, games and championships are won in the off season, and they took that seriously. And so I, I'm just excited. I think you're going to see a group of guys who uh, are vested in being successful and winning because they put in so much work uh, on the front end. So I, the, the, the sky's the we're also having our first spirit day tomorrow. It's Cage the Tigers Day, and you're encouraged to wear camel for the day. Drag out those camel pants and shirts and wear them to school. Just make sure you're in dress code. Our next spirit day is October the 6th when we play the Lamar Mustangs. That's one of the biggest games of the year because it's the Battle of the Bird. And that game is at 7.30 at Trailer Stadium, and this is one of the best events of the year. Shirts for the Battle of the Berg are just $13. Order yours for Ms. Wilson in the dance room. The volleyball team played Lamar this week in its first district game. The final scores were 21 to 25, 25 to 20, 24 to 26, and 23 to 25. Kill leaders were Jalen Faneuil with 10 and Alex Pearson with 8. Marissa Ortega had 38 assists and Haley Olivas was a dig leader. There was some flood damage to the gym and the teams will not be able to use the gym for the rest of the season. Home games will be played either in the small gym or at George Junior High. This Friday, there's a varsity game at 4.30, a JV game at 5.30, and a freshman game at 6.30. If you want to be a member of the swim team, there are three time trials you must complete. The first one is this Saturday morning from 8.30 to 10. There's a parent meeting at 10. The second one is next Friday, September 22nd, right after school. The third trial is Thursday, September 28th, right after school. See Coach Muzzy if you have any questions. If you like running long distances, think about joining the cross-country team. Practices are 6.15 and 7.30 in the mornings, and meets are on Friday mornings. Races are 2 to 3 miles. 
If you want to be part of the soccer team, see Coach Bevins in Room 110 during advisory or stop by on your way to your class and give him your name. The golf team is also looking for some athletes to join. See Coach Howard in Room 116. As with all sports, you must have a recent physical and all your athletic forms completed and cleared in Rank 1 to participate in athletic events. Ben also was busy over the summer. They practice outside in the morning and then inside in the afternoon. Here's a look at our Mighty Ranger Band. We have a segment we think you'll like. It's Catch the Down Low with Dr. O. Here's our principal talking about the start of the 2017-2018 school year. So today it's been going very well. Um, we are excited to have our students and our teachers back for the beginning of another school year the school year of 2017-2018. Uh, there is nothing as exciting as the beginning of a school year. So uh, today, the first day of school went very well this morning. Our students came in, they picked up their schedules, went straight to class, and um, we've had a great first start to the new school year. So I'm pretty excited about it. We'd have to agree, the beginning of the year went smoothly. You know what else is going to go smoothly? No, what? The joke of the week. This is a new year. Shouldn't we throw away the joke of the week? No way. Nothing's wrong with a few laughs. So here's this week's joke. What are the most musical parts of a turkey? Not a clue. The drumsticks get it? I cannot believe Miss Adams lets you tell these stupid jokes. She's the one who puts it in the script. Well, at least we know who to blame. Guilty. Freshmen, we're so happy you're here. Fish camp went really well, and so many of our families came out. The weather outside is pretty nice. Here's Louise with what you can expect for the rest of the week. Hello, Terry. I'm Louise, and I'm here to talk about the weather for the rest of the week. Good news. It's cloudy and sunny and cloudy. We have highs in the lows of the 90s and the lows in the 60s and the 70s. No chance of rain. And it's a welcome lift after 50 inches of rain from Hurricane Harvey. That is for the weather. Enjoy the weekend. We'd like to close the show with something that will make you teachers happy. The Life Skills Cafe has coffee and best of all, they deliver. All you have to do is call 3441 for delivery. On your sixth day, you get a free cup of coffee. That's a deal. I wish they'd deliver to students. Now that would be a sweet deal. And with that, we're out of here. Remember, Ranger, Ranger Pride, Pride every day.